Well, this climate conference in Dubai is going to be very crucial because the world needs to agree that we're not doing enough as a world. And then, of course, Europe needs to fight and show good examples by showing that we need to triple our renewables, we need to triple on energy efficiency, and also very important, we really need to be at the forefront of the end of fossil fuels. What we see at these climate conferences is, of course, that more and more often you see fossil companies trying to influence the negotiations. So what we need is progressive companies who come out very clearly and say we need ambitious climate policies and we need a strong Europe to fight for the ambitious climate policies. These progressive companies need to speak out and need to speak out towards, com uh, towards regions like Europe in order to be at the forefront of a successful climate conference. So at this COP uh, it is a very special moment because uh, we're going to, for the first time in 28 years, are debating the inclusion of the fact that we need to, uh, to address the primary cause of climate change, which is burning fossil fuels. So a reference to the fossil fuel phase out will be a phenomenal uh, success at this COP, something that is quite obvious, but it hasn't been included. The EU is at the lead in terms of the implementation on climate policies, and it needs to help other countries understand that ambitious climate policies are an opportunity for the country, an opportunity to be more prosperous, an opportunity for their markets, for their people and for the health of their people. So definitely showing the way and also helping build capacity in those countries so that the countries can be at the same level. On the other hand, the, the European Union, China, US, there is a competition, a race to zero. And the European Union needs to keep course, stay on course, continue to raise ambitions. Not think that they are leading and so that will lead to certain complacency. Rather the opposite. They need to double down on this race uh, to be net zero, carbon neutral. They need to double, double down because this is good for Europe it is good for European citizens and it's good for the world. As regards business, the European Union definitely has a fantastic opportunity to join forces with its industry, to show the way to create uh, coalitions of the willing, develop public-private partnerships, uh, because uh, Europe has already the pol policy coherence and it has created a, a vibrant industry so let's tap in that opportunity and rather than look to the IRA as a competition, let's see it as an example on how business and government can work together in deploying the technologies that will be needed in the short term but also in the mid term.